Resident Evil. Or Biohazard as it was known in Japan, was released for the PlayStation in 1996 by Capcom. It was the very first game to be dubbed a survival horror. It primarily took place inside a sinister mansion. You play the role of either Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield, who are part of the four remaining members of an elite police unit. Stay alert. The player must survive by fighting against the various monsters that populate the mansion. The most common being the classic zombies, taking inspiration from horror movies such as Night of the Living Dead. Resident Evil is played from a third person perspective, viewing the characters from a fixed camera angle as they move through pre-rendered environments. This was the first time a game used this gameplay style on a console system. To comply with Sony America's censorship standards, the PlayStation version of Resident Evil featured a number of changes between its original Japanese release and its English language counterparts. For example, many of the more violent scenes from the live-action intro were removed. Including scenes featuring Chris Redfield having a smoke. Resident Evil was a huge success and a landmark game in the horror genre. It was also infamous for its sketchy voice acting and dialogue. No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa! This hall is dangerous! Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. This is beyond cheesy. However, it perfectly fit the mood for a B-grade horror movie and surprisingly added to the entertainment value. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Not only would it spawn many sequels, but the original game was re-released twice on the PlayStation. A remake of the game was released for the GameCube in 2002, which featured new graphics, voice acting and many significant gameplay changes. However, most fans still hail the original as the true classic of the genre. There was just simply nothing like it at the time. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right.